friends, Robin here with Matt, Man and Robin, and I have another unboxing for you for Operation Christmas Child. This is just a reminder that Collection Week starts next Monday, November 15th, and it goes to November 22nd, um, and I'm filming this in 2021. So, if you have stumbled upon this because you are collecting items to fill your box this week, I just wanted to say thank you for filling a box and I'm so glad you stumbled upon my video. This box is a little bit different than most of the boxes that I usually do. Um, it's the first time that I fit a large item inside the box. I don't want to give it away um, because we're about to do the unboxing, but I just, um, I had to forego some of my staples to get what I wanted in the box. And so it just feels different to me, which is exciting. Um, this box is an Elsa themed box for a girl aged five to nine. Um, and it, it's hard to tell, but it is really, really bulging. And um, I just, this box made me think of, of uh, my nieces when I put this together because they, love they love everything disney and princess but especially elsa and it just every time i put something in here i thought of them so i guess this is dedicated to my little nieces and um i hope that the little girl that gets this enjoys it as much as i think my nieces would so right off the bat you can see here on my list there are a lot of blue dots but there are also a few pink dots um, the pink dots came just now, just today, because I had a pink pin sitting next to me. And so when I pulled this box out to do the unboxing, there were things missing. Um, so I had to go get them back in my closet to complete this box. And then I also wrote down a few other items that I thought maybe I wanted to swap out. Since I had packed this box, I got other things that I knew were in my closet that I wanted them to go in here instead of what I had originally packed. So um, just letting you know that if you change your mind when you're packing or if you like to pack um, to the very last minute, that's okay because that's what I do. So without further ado, here is my Elsa box. On the bottom, I did put um, part of the packaging for the Elsa doll that is in here because I really love that it says a little bit about Elsa in multiple languages. So if this little girl has never seen Frozen, but she understands one of those four languages, then she will at least know who this, um, I guess queen, she's no longer a princess, queen is in her box. Um, I also, on this side of the box, put, a, that is a giant eraser, it's huge but I just thought that it would help decorate the box. And then the last thing is uh, more cut out from the packaging um, and I just put Elsa on there. So um, I decorated it just a smidge, not a whole bunch, um, but that's what I did with this one. I took off the 107 rubber bands. You can get these on Amazon. And I'm popping off the lid to my favorite box which comes from Daiso. Um, and as I took that off, look, it's growing. Like immediately, everything just went poof. So I'm hoping that um, after I repack this, after the unboxing, I'm gonna put several rubber bands on it really tight to help it condense, like let some of the air come out of it and condense down before I send it to the um, collection center next week. All right. So when I open up the bandana, which I like to put in on a diagonal, um, this is what she will see. And so in case you're noticing, this is the big item that I have not normally put in a box. Um, I try to put a bag in every box and um, for my like 10 to 14 year olds, I try to find like a packable backpack um, but I don't always do that, and I found a whole bunch, a whole bunch, four, not a whole bunch, four um, backpacks at Dollar General just a couple weeks ago on their Super Duper clearance. And these backpacks came, it came with a bag, um, a ruler, a pencil bag, 
and a lunch box and a carabiner. So they said it was a five piece set and I got them for $3.75. So I figured that was a good deal. And um, some of the boxes I may be able to get the whole set in the box and some of them I will break up and put into different boxes. This box is actually getting just the backpack that came from that set. So here we go. Let's get in and I will show you how I have it all packed. So um, if you can tell, it's kind of got a U shape. Um, so I laid the backpack in it and I have folded it over on both sides. But let's pull out this composition notebook. This is her composition notebook and inside I tucked some stickers. These are really cute Elsa fingernail stickers. And I have just some sparkly ocean life stickers. And then these are um, frozen stickers with all of the main characters. And that goes inside of her composition notebook. Then um, I did not get to put my Daiso flashlight in here. So this is a flashlight from the Dollar Tree. I still really love it. It has a great light. Um, and since these are LEDs, it will last a long time, um, but there is no way to replace the battery. So it is a one and done flashlight. But when I can't fit a Daiso one in, I like to put this one. The other cool thing about this one is um, that the side is a magnet. So if she has anything in her home that is metal or other magnets, she can stick her flashlight to that. Next is her pencil bag. It is just a standard Elsa Blue uh, pencil bag. And in here I have these great Elsa crayons. There are eight of them. And a blue pair of scissors and um, some novelty erasers, a little whale, and a Pegasus unicorn. Um, she has this fun tinsel pin. I got this at Dollar General for 15 cents. Here is her enclosed pencil sharpener. I thought a diamond kind of felt like ice and it reminded me of Elsa. She has her multi-color click pin from Daiso. Um, this, this is a large eraser. I got these in a pack of like 20 from Daiso. So these are great, um, but just thought I'd let you know. And then everything else in here, um, there is a backup pencil sharpener and three um, number two pencils, three novelty pencils, and a blue highlighter. And that's everything that's in her pencil bag. Um, so one of the things that I had to forego in this box that I normally like to include is colored pencils. Um, so that is not included in here, which I feel like is okay because I did include some crayons. So she still has an opportunity to color. Um, here is her stuffy. It is a heart. Um, and I selected this one because it has a lot of that Elsa blue in it. There is a little bit of other colors and they're sort of just kind of tie dyed and mixed in. But this reminded me of Elsa and it's squishy and it's so soft. So this is her stuffy. Um, and then here is the box. Just kind of giving you some sneak peeks as we go. Um, I have included this, these addition flashcards. I really like them because math is a universal language. So um, she can utilize these no matter where she lives and they still have all of the cute frozen characters on them to help her learn addition. I've included this sparkly tie dyed mask. It kind of goes with her stuffy. There is a metal piece up here and I got these in a pack of two for 50 cents at Walmart uh, during back to school. Um, I have included this Elsa puzzle. I love getting these puzzles from Dollar Tree in the tins. For some reason, I can fit these tins in almost any box. And um, the other thing I like about it is that the, the actual puzzle in here, you can kind of um, adjust all of the pieces and they only take up about half of the tin, 
which leaves you room to put more stuff. So in this one, I put, it's really packed in here. So let me see if I can show you. Okay, this is her lanyard. It's a really pretty light blue with some confetti on it, but it reminded me a whole lot of Elsa. And then down there, right there, that orange piece is actually a brass colored whistle. So she gets a whistle and a lanyard. And then right here, that is her chapstick, which actually has Elsa on it. And then under my hand is the puzzle. Um, so this is the size of the puzzle pieces, which I think is great for a little girl aged five to, um, five to nine. And this is what the puzzle will look like. I do not think it actually has the words on it, but it might. And it's 50 pieces, so I love these tins. Um, next to pull out is her water bottle. And as usual, we'll unpack this last so that I can put the contents back in the box so it doesn't roll all over my table. Here is her uh, washcloth. I really like it. It's a cute Elsa-themed um, washcloth. And I love the colors behind her. It's it, they're like periwinkle almost. Um, I know Elsa's color is blue, but these are blue with like a purple tint to them, and I love it. So um, I also have a blue bow in here for her. There are more hair items there inside the water bottle. We'll get to them last. Um, but this is her big bow that she can wear. It is this style clip. So as long as she has at least like an inch of hair, she'll be able to utilize this. And if not, she can use it on her Elsa doll, which I'm going to pull out right now. Here is her Elsa. I love this doll. She is so pretty. Um, she has her hair in her traditional braid. Um, her face is, is really good for a a doll that is based on an animated character. Sometimes they look a little wonky, but I think Elsa looks beautiful with her big blue eyes. Her dress is long. It goes all the way to the bottom. She does have pointed feet, um, so Barbie shoes will not fit on her because Barbie now has flat feet. Um, but she does have a cape, and her cape has... Oh, it's kind of hard to tell. It has her... Um, snowflakes and like her ice colors printed on it. But um, the other thing that I put in here is another doll because I have always want to put two dolls so she can play Barbies with a friend or she can play Barbies just by herself. And I thought this doll, this little, this is a sparkle doll and I thought it was great because look at her dress. It's just like Elsa's with the little snowflakes on it. Um, and her hair is done up with a braid, and I just thought that they could be great friends, or maybe they know each other from the castle, or, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what their story is, um, but this little girl's imagination will create their story of how they go together, and I love that. So these are the two dolls that I included in this bag, in the box, and I also included this to go with them. So um, if you look here, right here, this is a Barbie dress. It is red. It's not quite as long as Elsa's dress. I did try it on her. It goes past her knees. And it is supposed to be a recital dress uh, because this little package came with a violin. And I really like that because Elsa is the musical queen. And um, there's also this little keyboard that it came with. It's supposed to be a purse. Um, I added this comb and this mirror, and this mirror is plastic. It's real wavy. See, it doesn't, um, so it's not going to break in there. And um, I included them in Elsa's signature blue. And then there is a purse, this red purse. It's upside down. But I love that it's red and it has Elsa's blue on it. So, um, like I said, I did try this dress on her because it's a Barbie dress. And Elsa, I just, uh, she's not Mattel, which is Barbie brand. I, I forget which brand she was on the box, but they're not the same. So I wanted to make sure that Barbie's clothes fit on her. 
and it did, um, but she still has on her pretty blue Elsa shoes. So the purse kind of brings it the whole outfit together and, and it just goes great together. So I included these extra Barbie accessories. And then if you can tell in here, there's a few pink ones too. This headband and there's two Barbie clips in there. And I thought that they could go with Elsa's little friend because she has a little bit of pink in her dress. So she got some accessories too. Um, the other thing I put in here, which I think is really fun, is this braid. It is um, a hair tie for a little girl, but if Elsa has her signature braid, the little girl needs her signature braid. So I included this braid. I got this at Dollar General for 15 cents just a couple weeks ago. I also have included these three items. This is her spoon in Elsa blue. Uh, this is from I. Kia and you get I think four for 23 cents it's crazy and they're great quality um, and I feel like a spoon is the most universal utensil to send so that's why I send a spoon um, and then here is her toothbrush this is from Daiso they come in a pack of five with the toothbrush and the toothbrush caps and there are um, breathing holes in the top and it can aerate from the bottom and then finally, a fairy wand to help her create her imaginary ice sculptures just like Elsa. So, with that, you can see I have, this is how I pack the backpack. It's kind of down in there in a U shape because it is a full-sized backpack with padded straps and everything. So, let me pull it out and I will show you. Um size backpack and this is where you can put the carabiner um, this is a little zipper pouch and I have tucked the insides in as much as possible here are the thick padded straps um, and I got four sets of these I have this one with the rainbow and the light blue and then there's a pink one with unicorns and um, a blue one with sharks and a black, just a plain black one. So I snagged four of these during Dollar General's um, crazy sale a couple weeks ago. And then on the very, very bottom um, are some flat things that I put in here. Here is a, um, this is a reusable straw. It says, face your fear at the top. And then there are Four um, images of Elsa being very brave like these images just make her look so courageous so I included this reusable straw I got them in a packet of five for a dollar and I will be splitting them up I put one of them in my horse box because it was her white horse um, one is going in this box and one is going in next year's Olaf box. And then I have two more that will get um, just kind of put in whatever box they fit with. And then the next thing I have is this beach ball and it has Elsa on it. And then it has um, white, a white panel and then a, a panel of Anna. So, um, I also got this at the Dollar General clearance. I can't remember if I spent 30 or 45 cents. Either way, it was less than a dollar and well worth it to include a ball in this very packed box. I also included this board book. I know board books are for younger children, but this one is just beautiful. The illustrations on it, I love the style. Um, like in Anna's hair here. This is the style throughout the book and it's just, I think it's beautiful. Um, and it's frozen to fearless by nature. And so it, um, it, it features a bunch of nature elements throughout the book. And it also um, focuses on each of the main characters and it just was a nice little board book. And in case she is studying English, this could really help her. And if not, then she can use her imagination and make um, her own Elsa and Anna story about nature. Then I have included this 
coloring book. Um, it is a little coloring book and it does fit flat. I don't have to bend it around like large coloring books. It came from Dollar Tree in a pack of three. Um, they aren't, okay, so the images are great. I love the images. They have nice sharp black lines which helps make coloring really easy. Um, the pages are, they're like um, printer paper, so they're that nice crisp white instead of in some coloring books, they're like that recycled um, rough paper. So I do like that about them. Um, it, they are great images, but there's only like, I don't know, I'm gonna say like six pages folded in half. Um, so, you know, it's not, and it doesn't give her a whole lot to color, but I still, I still really like them. And for, um, okay, it's four pages. Four pages folded in half, so you get eight pages front and back to color. Um, you know, I, I, I like them. They're perfect for boxes like this, which can't fit a whole thick coloring book. And it gets the job done and allows her to utilize her crayons that she got. I also have included two sets of um, washable tattoos. And that is what they look like. It also is in multiple languages on the back to tell her how to utilize these tattoos. And I just recently got this at Dollar Tree. So if you're looking for an Elsa sticker book, they are at Dollar Tree right now. Um, and they are, there are a ton of stickers. There's the sparkly one, and then there's the purple one I showed first, and the blue one. And then the last page is a pink one. So it's it's really great. And it's the same theme as that board book. See, it says Spirits of Nature. Um, so I just included this. And the very last thing in the flat items is her card that says To a Beautiful Girl. And I got these at um, Hobby Lobby in the clearance section. They're actually invitations that I just wrote on because they were blank and um, I just, I love them. They're beautiful, and I'm so glad I found these for my girl boxes. So the very last thing that we will open is her water bottle. Uh, again, I love these bottles. They're from Dollar General. They have the wide mouth opening, so it's very watertight because that was hard to open, but it's, it's a wide mouth, so they will be able to drink easily. My Bella is outside and we have a window right there. She's like, let me in, let me in. <laughs> I'll let her in in a minute. Um, so the mouth has a big wide opening so that you can put a lot of stuff in it. And right on top is this fun play jewelry ring for her. And this beautiful necklace. I love these because it doesn't show up on camera very well, but they are iridescent and shiny and it just gives it like a pearlized sparkle. I love them. They came in a pack from Dollar Tree. Um, these are her Google Eyes. I get these at Walmart in the party section. She has two ponies because Elsa has a water pony. So, um, and these are two unicorns actually, a pink and a purple one. Here is her brush I was able to fit in. And if you see right there, it has Anna on it with Olaf down in the bottom. I got that at Dollar Tree and it actually came with, I don't know, I don't know. It came with a mirror, but I did not include the mirror because it was an open-faced mirror. So um, here is her nail clippers and nail file with the instructions that I printed off of Blessings in a Shoebox. And then um, I love to include these little crosses. I get these at Hobby Lobby in the uh, Playside Creations section, and they will go on sale periodically for 40 or 50% off, and that is when I purchased them. Um, and then these are her cars. And this is the first box that I get to explain to you about what these cars are. Um, so she has this really pretty metallic blue one, and this white one um, with blue stripes and its hood lifts up a little bit so you can see inside 
and see the engine and stuff. So, the cool thing about these cars um, is this is a vintage car. It's from 2004, oh, you can't see it. It's right here, it says 2004 on it. And my dad um, collected Hot Wheels his whole life. Like, he has some of the really old ones from the 60s. Um, and when he moved, he no longer wanted to keep them because they just were sitting in boxes, like in a storage room. And he, he asked me if I wanted them so that I could put them in my um, shoe boxes. There were over a hundred. There were a hundred cars that he gave me and I love it. I did uh, make sure I spent a lot of time and I went through the archives because there's Hot Wheels collectors and some of them are worth a lot of money um, and if any of them had been worth money I was going to sell them and use the funds for um, Christmas child items but none of them were worth more than like five or six dollars so if you think about it that's a really good investment right like pay one dollar and eventually it's worth six dollars but as a whole it wasn't worth me trying to find a buyer and getting you know, a, a little bit of money. Most of them weren't worth anything. Um, like, they weren't worth the money that you spent to buy them because they're toys. So, anyway, long story short, I really am grateful to my dad for donating these because now instead of sitting in a box in a warehouse, they're gonna get played with. And um, it's been really cool to see all the vintage ones because they're just a little bit better quality, a little bit stronger metal, um, less plastic, and they're heavier. So it's, I will let you guys know going forward how many of my boxes are getting the vintage cars because I just think it's a fun little um, thing. Oh, and they were still all in the packaging. They were brand new, never opened because collector's items, right? So anyway, those are the, the cars. And the very last thing in here is her fun hair accessories kit that I did stuff in the bottom of the water bottle. Um, I have included, this is a, um, a headband that is stretchy. And here is a second stretchy headband. In case she does not have any, um, any hair, she can use this headband and clip her bow on it and still be able to wear her beautiful bow in her hair and they match. So that's the intention of the stretchy headbands. Um, I also have included these whoop, hair ties and they are actually frozen hair ties. There's Anna. These two have um, snowflakes on them and this one is Elsa. And the very last things in the whole box are these barrettes, which I love. Um, this one is Anna and this one is Elsa and I just think they're gorgeous. So that was my Elsa box, which included a gigantic backpack for me. Uh, it was my first time to pack it. I hope I did a good job. Tell me in the comments below how you pack full-size backpacks because that was a chore. <laughs> So, anyways, I will probably spend like 30 minutes trying to get this all back inside the box the way I had it so that I can triple rubber band it and send it to the collection um, center near me next week. Anyway, um, that's it for today. And in case no one has told you, I love you lots. Have a great day. Bye.